Ace match time on GSL Dual Site. Major versus Monster. I know it says Genius, but as I said the last two games, he's just on his account. Genius is a Protoss player. He's playing as Zerg. It would be silly to think this is Genius and uh-oh. Ursadon. A little bit of lag there. But it looks like it'll be just fine. That would screw up players with the worker splitting, but it doesn't really cost you the game. It always sucks when you lag at the start because you can't split that well, and uh... I won't tell him yet. If he the game pauses as lightly again, I'll let him know. I think he is lagging. But we do have a TVZ. The Major has switched to red. He has gained his confidence after taking out Monster last game in Shakur's Plateau. Coming back when he was behind, I would say. Those mutas took him completely off guard. But man, did he come back. The SCV is going to be building the Supply Depot. And, uh... I'm just going to keep on getting SCVs. Because that's what you do at the start. You build drones and SCVs. There's nothing else to be thinking about when the game first starts. And uh, Overlord is going to be making his way across the map. This is dual site. I don't know if Major plays this game, uh, map too much. It is in the MLG map pool, but I believe he is a ladder player. He practices by playing ladder, so he may not uh, know this map too well. Overlord slowly creeping his way across the map. We'll see what he does. I don't know. Will he go for a super fast third base or not? He is going for that gas, so he is going to be opening up with some Hellions. And we'll see exactly what Monster does. Will he allow Major to get to the late game? It is a 15 hatch so far, and he will be doing a gas. So it's a 15, 15, 15, I think. So he's at 15 supply now. Come on, get your gas right now. 15, 16 right now. So 15, 16, 16 maybe? Who knows what he does. We will soon, though. The drone is going to come up. Scout say, okay, it's not a 2x. And the gas is about halfway done. And he's at 16. And there goes the pool. So, yes, 15, 16, 16. Out for Monster. Supply Depot does go up. And now the moon is going to be hopping out. SCV. Is this going to be his first scout? Yes, it is. He's going to come in. See, okay, you went for a hatch first. Ba Ooh. He's changing it up a little bit. Going to start getting the bunker. And if the SCV kind of hits the lucky spot, this bunker will complete. It's always a game, like a chancing right here. And this is the lucky spot right here for the SCV to be in. It's so hard to kill the SCV when he's right there. But when he's right here, he can be taken out. But, uh... Monster, not worried about the SEV. Just picking the bunker apart. And it looks like he will get it. And it's not canceled, so that is a win for Ma uh, Monster. Moon does go down. The SEV is going to avenge his death by killing the drone. But no, it goes into build an extractor. What a clutch extractor for Monster. And Major, you need to cancel that bunker. I think he was hoping... To finish it and repair it. But no, did not work out that way. Lost a hundred minerals there. And that one drone, 10 HP left. What a clutch move to build that extractor. The Marine is going to come back. Overlord is on the high ground right here. He is safe. Two Hellions just about to pop. Or be made. He is getting a gas and uh, his natural is studded. It's about halfway done. Spine caller is being built for a genius. And uh, not too much going on. There's two Hellions now just popping out. And a tech lab going down on this barrack. So it looks like when he gets four Hellions, he will be switching over to tank production. And a Roach one is coming out from Monster. And Major has showed us he is very strong against Roach builds. This one link is going to be falling. And I wonder if he's going to go in the aggression with these roaches like he did in game one. Or if he's going to be just using them for defense. He is building six, which is a little bit much, I would say. And Major's going to come in here and see no links. And he may know something is up. Not a single ling in sight. 
so I think he knows that roaches are on the way. Just doing what he can. I don't think he's gonna think he's actually killing a queen, but doesn't hurt him staying there. He is falling back now, has his factory on the way up, and his Hellions are just gonna sit here as long as he doesn't lose things to a lot of lings coming out. And let's see, what is his work count at? 25, and he's building a lot of lings, and he's already built a lot of roaches. Major knows this is happening, and now he is gonna be going in for this counterattack, much like he did in one game, and those lings are gonna keep on running. Major just gonna to to uh, bleh, total up. In this game, I don't think he was too confident. He didn't keep on putting pressure. The last time he just went and attacked the Zerg player when this happened. This time, he pulled his Hellions back to delay the Roaches as much as possible so he can get the tank out. Has plenty of SCVs. And with this one tank finishing, I think he is going to be safe. More and more Lings are coming. You can tell he really wants to end the game right here. But now the bunker has finished. The tank is out. The Zerg's not going to be too much of a threat unless Banelings do come out. Is he getting a Banelings nest? No, he's not. He is studying his lair. Keep in mind, the lair was finishing around this point and the Spire had been started, I believe, last game. So the Roaches really do slow down your bid, ugh, build tremendously. Once the second tank comes out, I believe Major will be moving down. And looks like he is going to be doing a Hellion drop. But we have both watchtowers covered, so Drop isn't going to be taking Monster by surprise unless he doesn't pay attention to the uh, minimap at all. And Major comes down, sees the Roaches retreating as soon as he comes down, so he knows the Drop has been spotted. But he wants to continue with it anyways, just get vision around his opponent's base. And he is going to be coming in and seeing this fire. I believe he saw it. Did he yet? No, not yet. He will be... Blue Flames is done, so those Hellions do very well against the Lings. Two Roaches on that low ground. But those Hellions could be doing a lot more damage if he keeps coming in here. Not many Lings left. He's building five drones right now, and here we go. Hellions don't do that much because they get surrounded. All those Lings in the red. And it looks like Monster has just enough to defend this. That Spire is now completing, and I don't think Major had seen that. Meanwhile, four Hellions going to be going all the way behind, like, oh, They were taking the path that would not be scouted, but they decided to switch it up. Hellions fine. This third base accidentally attacked, I guess he was on a move. And now he has to retreat. Nine meters on the way. Major has, let's see, how many tanks or marines does he have to his name? Five marines to his name right now. He is building an army. Hopefully he'll have a throw out in time, but it doesn't look like it. There's meters coming out at 11 minutes. And there's Hellions now. See the meters. He has to get this throw out as soon as possible. He may even build a few missiles if that engineering bay was finished. Lings are coming out. And those Hellions just going to come in and try to do damage. Force those mutas to come back home, possibly. Or not. Those mutas now in the middle line of Major. Killing plenty of SCVs. Those SCVs want to finish this missile turret. But uh, just can't. 11 SCVs looks like they have fallen. Missile not done in the natural either. And these mutas again dealing a lot of damage to Major. He was just a few seconds off in a monster. He always gets his mutas out a few, like, a minute earlier than most Zergs would. Marine's going down to those mutas to Thor. Where are you, Thor? Protect those tanks with your life. He does have his third base up, morphing that into an orbital command. And he is going Thor Hellion. And this is definitely a strong build. We'll see how well he can pull this off. The Thor will be nice anti-air for those Mutas. And oh, those Lings just go down. Do absolutely no damage unless you consider 31 damage to a barracks damage. Mizzletur is being built around Major's base.
Hellion's moving out. I'm gonna see a few roaches come back. And this is definitely a HUD style to play around with. We'll play against. I mean, if Azur's never come across this pure mech style, the chances are they're gonna lose the town knows what he's doing. And oh, that medevac does get taken down by a lot of the muters. Very nice job from Monster right there. One Hellion just watching this base. Boo is on the way with Tunneling Claws, and this is what you need to deal with this pure mech build. Hopefully Major doesn't scan, and those roaches can burrow underneath the mech army. If they're up close and personal, they will take it out. If they aren't, and the tanks start volleying on them on the way towards the mech line, well, that's not going to end well. More and more roaches are being built. Will Major ever get a missile turret to defend himself? That is the question. Monster, let's see how many workers he is at. He is at 75 versus the 52 of Major. Major does have his third command center up and is very well defended against Muters now, but is he defended against Burrowed Roaches moving around on the map? That is completely done now. The Raven just now coming out for Major. What clutch timing for that raven. One Roach bowing in to say, hey, is it safe to do this? Is it really safe? No, it's not. No, it is not. Four Hellions moving across the map. Those Roach is going to try to catch them off. And Monster does such a good job with his map vision. With that raven out there, it's going to help Major tremendously. He is going to be getting some Banshees now. And still has this one Hellion over here. I'm not sure if he's watching the base or just forgot completely about that Hellion at this point. Roach is going to be burrowing underneath. And, uh, where's the Raven? There's a Ling that sees everything. Sees the Raven's not near. Scan goes down immediately. Sees that burrow coming in. And those tanks are firing on those Roaches. But the Thor is going down very quickly. And now the Thors are dead. The Roaches can, I mean, the Mutas can pick off these tanks. One more Thor remains in the back. There's enough Mutas to a uh, magic box, I believe. Banshee is out, going to be helping against this. The uh, command center may fall. Doesn't look like it will. The Thor needs to defend this. No, it doesn't. The Banshee is going to go down. Mutas are clumped up. This Thor can get a nice volley, but he decides not to. Does not want to risk it. He needs to get a lot more anti-air, and now he is still building mu uh, tanks. And there's Mutas finishing this command center, and it is going to be going down with two mules that were inside of it. And now the Thor going to try to get magic box. And you can see the missile turret doing its best. SCV is a force to pull off the line. And I don't know. He's not going to hold it. Man, Major does fall. Gets the semifinals, and he goes down. It is going to be another TVZ. Keen versus... Who was it? Monster. That's it.